God will test you and there are multiple ways that he does that and the most common one that people think about is that God doesn't give you a lot and he tests your gratitude for that there be, be poor people outside in the world that God tests their gratitude by not giving them as much as the people who have a lot in the worldly sort of way there was this example of a cert that I had so we had this model United Nations which is sort of like a debate competition uh, MUN. So the sir comes inside of the room and he starts speaking about his own life and his experiences and he's speaking about religion and he's speaking about God. So what he t says is that he used to be very successful. He used to be very successful. He was that type of person that every guy looks up to. He was basically a millionaire at one time and he could buy anything that he wanted to without looking at the price tag. And I was admiring that and he said that at that point when he was earning that much he had forgotten God and he left God and he wasn't praying as much and he had just uh, slipped away from his deen and that was the most empty part of his life even though he had a lot he had the success that he had imagined when he was younger but now that he had the success he felt empty he felt depressed and when he came back to God, when he came back to religion, that's when he became actually successful. And the the second way that God tests you is that he gives you a lot, like he gave that sir. He gave him a lot, he gave him uh, a lot in the worldly sort of way. And then he tested his gratitude for that. This video is about like complacency, which is uh, sort of like a scary thing what the thing is like when you get complacent you stop working as much harder and when you uh, like imagine this in your prime you're like this but when you become complacent it's like this it's like it becomes very slow and it's like harder for you to reach your potential and i guess every guy every single guy outside in the world right now wants to reach their true potential and complacency can be a setback to that dream so how do you become complacent? You become complacent when you are like, meh, that doesn't matter. When you stop giving importance to things that you once gave a lot of importance to, when your priorities get mixed up. So what happens that you get complacent and you think that you've already built up a good body, when you when you think that you already have a good physique. So you get complacent, you start missing out on the workouts, you stop doing, you stop eating as much healthier as you used to, you, st you start eating out, out you start eating out and you just get complacent and uh, the other way is like people compliment you or praise you for what you have achieved and then you're like ha 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 I am that sort of guy I have achieved this much and then you stop working as much harder as you used to and you become complacent so when I talk about religion when I talk about religion I'm mainly talking about Islam here so the thing is like Islam has these rules the haram stuff that you're not allowed to do and the stuff that is obligatory which is first for you to do which you have to do no matter what and the way that you combat complacency is that you have these rules you have these unnegotiable things in your life which cannot be changed no matter what and Islam offers those things which are called obligatory or first things uh, which are which is stuff like which is stuff like praying five times a day, giving zakat, which is and uh, uh, fasting in the month of Ramadan and stuff like that. And you have to abstain from doing the haram stuff, which is like uh, you can't drink alcohol, you can't eat pork, you can't listen to music, and there are just stuff like that. And the thing about having non-negotiable stuff like that is like even on your worst days, even when you feel down, even when you're depressed, when you don't have the energy, you still go and do those things. And those things become your identity. You're the guy who prays five times a day. You're that guy who's disciplined enough to wake up early and pray for you. You're that guy. That becomes your new identity. And that becomes the foundation for the stuff that you do. So when you have those non-negotiable things, it's harder for you to fall down. It's harder for you to fall down. And now when, the, when you have those non-negotiable things, you, you have to stay at this level. Like before you could be down here, be down here. But now you have to stay at this level and most people go above that level. There is just some stuff that you have to do every single day and the, and the shortcut to success is that you don't miss a single day. Like if you try every single day, if you try every single day, you don't miss a single day, you won't miss success. There will be a day when you become successful and you don't want to miss it. So the, the, so the shortcut to success is trying every single day. And you have to think about in it in this sort of way. Like we have those non-negotiable things, but there'll be times that you'll miss out on that. 
I am not saying that I'm perfect. I also miss out on those stuff. I listen to music sometimes and I miss a prayer sometimes. But I beat myself up instead for the doing that. When I listen to music, I'm not like justifying it in any sort of way. I'm not justifying it in any sort of way. So when I listen to music, I'm like, I shouldn't be listening to it. It's Haram. I know it's Haram in that sort of way. I'm not bullshitting myself into believing that in the other sort of way. Think about this. Imagine one of the Sahaba, one of the Sahaba, like forgot to do one prayer or something. Think about what he would do. Like our no, normal reaction was like, I missed it, it is what it is. That would be our normal reaction. But what would he do? He would be like, which I do, I doubt they ever missed a salah. And that was, that was the amount of importance that they gave to it. So imagine that he, like hypothetical situation, he missed a salah. What would his reaction be? He would be like, he would beat himself up inside of him. He would be like, why did I miss that salah? Which is like one of the five pillars of Islam. If I don't do that, how do I expect to be successful? How? Like, how could I do that? And that's just a sort of difference between this generation and that sort of time. So yeah, bro. Have some set of rules that you're going to do every single day. And just prioritize that. Like, have these set of rules that you're going to do every single day. And that, that becomes your priority. That, that becomes the foundation. That becomes the minimum requirement of your day. So when you hit the minimum requirement, you have to do that every single day. And it becomes really hard for you to fall down. It becomes hard for... It, it becomes hard for you to fall off which is something really necessary that we, we need to implement in our lives so don't become complacent so I'm actually studying math right now because I have like a paper in two days so I just I just want to show you my premium my premium duster which I have right now for this whiteboard which I bought with my ED so I have this premium duster which is like very very expensive let me show you <laughs> It's like a, it's like a wrist thing. So like, if you have any papers right now, good luck, y'all. If you have any, that is, I hope you don't. But like, if you don't, what are you doing right now? But anyways, good luck.